Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. We're at that, uh, the Northern Lion number, I would say. Four wins, five wins, oh, Midas Touch, decent damage, good rate of fire, B, YF8, firm, and we have, um, IV Bag. IV Bag plus Midas Touch seems like a little bit overkill, but I guess it's good. I mean, like, we do more contact damage the more money we have. But if we get something like Unicorn Stump or even Unicorn Horn, we should be able to just walk into enemies easily anyway. Um, so we already know, like, walk into them and kill them easily anyway. We already know how this run uh, is going to look from the perspective of, like, what synergies we want. We're very lucky to start with a lot of HP. Um, we don't need very, very much at all to turn this into a guaranteed win, but... Eh, that kind of sucks. But those items have a, a very high specificity, if you know what I mean. Like, we, we don't need a lot, but it's not like we need a category. We need damage. No, I mean, it would be nice, but we don't really need that. What we need is, like, an invincibility item. Uh, like, Unicorn Stomp, Unicorn Horn, Game Kid. Even, like, IV Bag, Celtic Cross would sort of work. Um, it wouldn't be as reliable, obviously, but it would be something that we could, we could use here. I'm happy we got uh, Dry Baby. Dry Baby is a helper. That was very stupid on my part, and I'm starting to get a little, just slightly nervous about our HP here, but uh, it, it should be fine. You know, we're lucky we didn't start with one HP, or I'd be in a much scarier situation right now. And we've got money every time uh, we touch an enemy, which is nice. Every time they die after we touch them anyway. But uh, having taken red heart damage means we don't really have a good shot at the deal with the devil on this floor, which is always frustrating. So, uh, on the other hand, I'm really happy with the way that this seed has started here like it's it's a pretty amazing start uh ivy bag can be great i mean it opens up another variety of synergies for us like uh bloody lust and uh you know bloody penny also works really well with this and that would work really really well considering we have minus touch as well um but we don't really uh we can't really take too much advantage of it just yet holy mantle we can holy shit um that's incredible We'll still get hurt by uh, this. I just wanted to check to make sure. But yeah, Holy Mantle is by itself pretty much a game-winning item. So to pick it up in a situation like this feels fantastic. No bad trip. Luck up. That's good. Keep in mind, like, one of the HP that we've lost here has been from a bad trip pill. So it's not like... I, I don't feel like I've taken that much dumb damage. I, I probably shouldn't have taken that unknown pill. But, you know, that's a relatively kind of uh, safe way to, to do things on the first floor. It's it's not like I just walked into spikes or anything like that. Um, okay, 11 cents. I will check out our shop. Why not? I would love Mom's Key. Fantastic. We don't really need anything else, but uh, I'll tell you what. We might as well go like... Hada. And that gave us more than 3 cents for half of a heart. And we can then use 3 cents to buy this and feel a little bit better about our whole situation here. I'm also going to check quickly for maybe a uh, second secret room. And we got lucky, and it's full of red hearts, which is actually incredible. Now, this is kind of the lazy way to do things, but I'm going to just do this. Pick up as much money as possible. I mean, I guess we might as well walk out and then play our blood bank with it. I'm just a little nervous that I'm going to be an idiot and cause myself to die, but... Uh, no, this is pretty good. We should just go with it. And we'll get uh, maybe a little bit more money out of this as well. But mostly, I'm in it for the uh, the chance to get a blood bag, an IV bag, as you may have noticed. Probably not that worthwhile for me right now. <clears throat> well, we don't really benefit from the Bible, but we could benefit from buying the Bible, like, temporarily. Uh, I just wanted to do that to simplify this. Because if we buy the Bible and then, you know, fly it up to that area where there's tinted rocks uh, up there at the very top and a battery as well, um, we might be able to get something we desire up there. A small rock, perhaps. More spirit hearts. We may end up needing the survivability, I don't know, but our financial situation is obviously going to be great. And I've got to admit that, uh, I'm going to wait on that penny, but uh, I've got to admit that a Holy Mantle is actually kind of great with this amount of money that we've got with Midas Touch because uh, we can walk into an enemy to start a room and it should do just like a, a disgusting amount of damage to them. So I'm pretty excited about the possibility of that. Let's, uh, because our finances are already so good. Oh, but we don't have any bombs. Ah, without any bombs, I don't really want to go through with that then. Okay, that's fine. I'm still very happy with where we're at on our run. Let's just see what we're, uh, lucky or unlucky enough to get as far as our bosses go here. Haunt is not so bad. 
Well, I mean, it's the worst, or the second worst boss we could fight right now, but it's not so bad because of the fact that our damage is good. On an absolute level, it's not so bad. On a relative level, it is the worst, you know? But it's like getting the worst thing to eat at your favorite restaurant. You probably still like it a little bit. Why? Okay, well, it worked, but I should not have walked into the haunt there. I was like, well, I got hit, so very quickly I'll just use my, like, uh period of invincibility to do some Midas touch damage. I wouldn't recommend this. Okay, luck up, great. Speed up, fantastic. Hematomesis, totally fine. Bad gas, totally fine. I know we should be using this in the blood bank, that's like, you know, 101, but I'm gonna be a little bit of a lazy idiot about it. And I don't feel too bad about that, to be honest with you. Yeah, I actually enjoy the way that this worked out. That creep is getting real close, though. Okay, we actually did earn a deal with the devil somehow. Life is good. And... a Krampus fight. Uh, could be better. I think the... I gotta stop taking damage on these rooms. I mean, it's not... it's fine because we're not actually taking damage, but... Getting hit makes it so that I lose, like, two cents every time I get hit, because if I didn't... Um, get hit, I could just walk in in with my, uh, invincibility and be fine. Oh, mom's key, I forgot about you. That's what I like about you. You keep me alive. Yeah. I'm trying to think of where I know that song. I know it's what I like about you. I think I remember it from, like, TBS commercials back in the day. Like, advertisements for Yes Deer and shit like that. Anyway. And also the radio, of course. We're gonna go all the way down here, because we have the Spirit Heart protecting us. Um... We, I think we can afford to do this because we have Holy Mantle, basically. So we're at 72 cents, that's pretty ridiculous. Is there anything else we'd want in here? Um, maybe, maybe not. I might take the pill just to see. Good to know. Why don't we donate, like, insanely here on our first floor, you know? I, I do think there tends to be, like, either a perception or a weak, or an actual weak correlation between, like, when you donate and when the... Or how much you can actually donate. Like, the earlier you donate, it seems like you can donate more. Obviously, it didn't really work out for us in this situation, so maybe it was just my perception, but... It was just my imagination. Running away with the donation machine. That's like 12 too many syllables. Um, well, with Holy Mantle, we will leave this room first, because for some reason we don't start with it. Uh, available there, and now I'm not concerned about our HP at all. Because we have picked up... Uh, two and a half? No, just two red hearts, but still... Really, really good. And, of course, enough money to do whatever we want here. Uh, I'll just not mess with it. And we got another stone chest, and the stone chest took us back to full HP. Pretty ridiculous. We're at 79 cents already. And uh, I was originally like, this could be a little tricky because we've got uh, a bit of a poor situation uh, health-wise here. But that ended up not being the case at all. We're actually, like, kind of running away with it. So we have decent damage for where we're at in the run. Uh... Almost 99 cents and no reason to donate, which is kind of hilarious. IV bag, we would look to replace. I didn't even talk about it, but like, I thought about replacing IV bag with Krampus's head, but I was like, why bother? Like, IV bag can have some cool synergies um, with items that I've talked about earlier. Krampus's head just is Krampus's head. It's like a it's a desperation play in some ways. Like, if you need damage desperately, take it, man. You'll have a good time. But uh, if you don't need damage, I kind of feel like. Why bother? Or if you'd like, if you have a spacebar item that maybe you'd prefer, why bother? Um, also, I can't stress enough how ridiculous it is that we continue to just gain a ridiculous amount of spirit hearts, which is keeping me alive and, and relatively well here. Again, why not, uh, if Holy Mantle looks like it's gonna survive to the end of the room, why not walk into some enemies and, and get some coins on the ground? Uh, it also allows us to kill them super easily, although that one did not work. Maybe he's immune or something like that, or maybe I just. Didn't actually get the damage done, I don't know. Uh, more money than we can ever use on the Caves 1. That is a situation I am not very familiar with. Hopefully this item room... Uh, at this point, I just want it to be more damage, but obviously something like Unicorn Stump would be nuts. Mom's pad is like... It, it doesn't do it for us. I thought about it for a second, I'm like, wait a minute. Does it do it for us? No, it does not do it for us. We can also, if we get Celtic Cross, considering we have so many Red Hearts now, we can use... Um, or Virgo would be fine as well, I think, or... Yeah, those are probably the only two, apart from Unicorn Horn and Stump and Game Kid, etc, etc. Um, but if we got, um, those, we could induce invincibility, 
with IV bag and then run into enemies and probably, you know, not have to worry about our HP very much at all. At this point, why not buy absolutely everything? I mean, maybe even the pill, to be honest with you. And it's bad trip, which we could actually get use out of in the future. It's kind of a nice failsafe card. Hopefully we end up not needing it, but... Oh good, the coin's over there. What about my finances? I'm being a little facetious in case you didn't notice. Well, did take a little damage there. And we did take a little damage there. We got a super big dry baby. Why buy BFF if we don't have anything to go along with it yet? It's very simple. BFF is cool and I like it a lot, so I'm going to roll with it. Not our second secret room. Not our second secret room. Very sorry about this. I wonder... I wonder... Well, now that I've gotten hit with Holy Mantle, I'm not too proud of that, but... Uh, I was going to say, and I may still try this, what if we use IV Bag... And hurt ourselves... Get a little bit of a period of uh, safety here, get some money out of it, but also do a ton of damage by walking into the enemy. It seems like it's actually like a completely viable way to handle things as long as we're not bleeding HP out the other end. Strength card. Could be good. Alright. Still no deal with the Devil Precedent, but we're going to get non-stop deals of some kind in the future. Which is great. Hematemesis. Bad trip again. Um, let's just use Hematemesis. I figured it would take us, like, yeah, back to full health or nearly back to full health. Strength or bad trip? Let's take strength, I guess. We can make something happen with that in the future. And I'm going to ignore exploring the rest of this floor. I think it's okay. Um, really, we're like one bloody penny away from being able to walk into enemies endlessly with this. And that's really, really cool. It's like a fake unicorn stump. I like it a lot. Does IV Bag cause us to lose Holy Mantle? I want to check this out. I should know this. It does not. Okay, so that's actually really good news for rooms like that. I mean, it's a pretty niche scenario, but at the same time, um, that's cool. I'm, I'm happy with this. Do we know this pill? Telepills. Into the shop. This is fine. Uh, again, I, I'm almost at the point where I can just walk into enemies and not even IV bag. And they will all die. So that's pretty cool. I'm a, I'm a little bit of a fan of that. What if we got, like, uh... I'm trying to, like, theory craft it now. I'm like, what if we got Blood Rites? I don't know if Blood Rites would actually help us out that much. Almost. Very nearly took damage there. Um, we'll... I mean, I don't really feel like we need to go back to get the Strength card if I'm being 100% honest. You know, who am I trying to impress? So we'll get hit there, but it was worth it. And the reason it's good that we don't lose Holy Mantle is so that I can just, like, kind of endlessly repeat this, uh... This IV bag strategy, and it works out, like, completely fine. Similarly, I'm kind of like, why wouldn't I come down here and try this? Yes, it costs us some money in the pro- or it costs us some red hearts in the process, but uh, it's also kind of fun. This is a unique and novel experience. I'm having a good time. I don't know why I sound like the captain from Brooklyn Nine-Nine right now. I do know what joy feels like. I have experienced it before. Alright, HP's getting a little low. Let's just relax for a second here. You may be going a little overboard, it's fair to say. We might as well get our strength card back. Telepills didn't really work out. How are we doing for boss rush? We're probably like right in line for it. Uh, that's our secret room for sure. Uh, we're probably right in line for it, which is a little frightening. I'm not going to sweat it too, too much. But uh, if, if we can make it happen, I always like to. And if we can't, that is fine too. That is a lot of bombs. I don't even want the money, but I, I will take the bombs. Let's pop the strength card as well. Come on. God, why, why am I even picking up the money? There's no reason to pick up the money, but I, uh, it's an old habit. Hard to break. It's probably a good habit to be in, actually, if we're being 100% honest here. Which, uh, I don't see a good reason not to be in this situation. It's not like we're negotiating a, you know, buyout of a Fortune 500 company or something like that. We got no issues there. Um, yes, okay. Cancer gives us way more spirit hearts. You feel protected gives us the wafer effect after we get hit once on a room. Uh, I was actually going to lump this in with, like, Virgo as something that could help us with our weird Midas Touch strategy, but I actually don't think it matters very much for that, at least not until the womb and beyond. Uh, at which point, maybe we'll be happy to have it, because we can do damage for half the cost to ourselves, but I, I doubt it's going to end up being too relevant of a strategy, if I had to guess. Got to be coming pretty close to uh, boss fight here. 
Really hoping we get a, another deal with the devil. I know we've had a lot of opportunities, and unfortunately none of them have given us the chance to get precedent, but I really do not want deals with the angel unless they're high damage deals with the angel, because we got really, really good defense right now. Our defense is handled, man. We just need some offense, and if we can get some offense, this run is completely unstoppable. It's a very common second secret room location. Alrighty. Maybe I was talking out of my ass, who knows? The stars. Good as a teleportation card for sure. Uh, nothing wrong with that. And I think this is a, a, a place where we can use bombs offensively. Took forever to explode there. But we got him. And we didn't even take damage in the process. We got hit, but Holy Mantle protected us. And of course, there is our uh, deal with the angel, as predicted. The run is good enough that I will fight Mega Satan, or I'll try to fight Mega Satan, which does mean that we're probably going to find ourselves in, um... Uh, let's do it again. We're probably going to find ourselves in the position where, uh, I don't get another key piece or something like that. Like, next floor will just give me a deal with the devil that I can't refuse, but whatever. We're down to the next floor. You saw we killed the angel statue in no time flat. This does count as, like, angel precedent to a small extent, I think, but, uh, not a huge problem. Because there are good deal with the angel items if we get so lucky. Again, why not uh, go through with that, I think. Alright, money, we don't really need this. We're going to declare a little bit of a moratorium on money for now. Great name for like a Titus Andronicus album or something. Okay. Placenta is going it, to... It is not my favorite health upgrade. Most of the time. But here, it does kind of work... That was very stupid of me. It does kind of work uh, conducively with our plans, because we'll get Red Heart Lifesteal. Not Lifesteal, but you know what I mean. Like, regen. And then we'll be able to use that regen to walk into enemies, like so. And I'm hurting myself basically anytime an enemy gets close, because I'm like, I don't want to get hit. Um, just do things that way. And that worked out fantastically. I'll use two of spades right away. We're back to the HP cap, even if we don't have it completely full. And yeah, it, it looks like boss rush is probably not going to happen. That's okay. We're not... Oh, well, maybe now we are. But I was going to say we're not quite strong enough to really justify it. But now we might be. Our our tier damage is getting to the point where it's not just like the uh, unwanted version of our uh, like pseudo unicorn stump setup. I'm very interested to see what this deal with the devil or deal with the angel is. Because we still have yet to have... An item show up in one of these rooms for free. It's our third, this will be our fourth deal with the devil or angel. We've had uh, one HP in the form of two eternal hearts. We've had some pills, and we've had a Krampus fight. It's a pretty shit haul, all things considered. Uh, I'm fast enough to get away from this guy, but we might as well kill him with the Midas Touch effect at the end. And we did get a deal with the devil. Look, the prediction is just coming true, man. Um, I've got to. Un unfortunately, I, I feel like I have to. We're going to take ceremonial robes. This might mean we don't get another deal with the angel. We don't fight Mega Satan. I I know because I, I watch the chat when I stream on Twitch and people are always like, Okay, I've got this choice. I could blank card Yara Rune by taking the blank card. And we could get 99 chests and break the game. It'll be a lot of fun. Or we could fight Mega Satan. Um, but I have to take Dad's key and it'll be boring for like four floors. And like 80% of people, and I'm not even like saying this is like, oh, how stupid are you? Because it's just the way that people feel about it. But um, 80% of people are like, Mega Satan, Mega Satan, it has to be Mega Satan. And I'm like, man, I do not get the love for Mega Satan, a boss that I have fought like a hundred times. Uh, I think I am going to go down to the next floor just in case we have a crack at it though. Or crack at boss rush, I should say. Just wanted to get that out of the way before we kept talking. We're not too far behind schedule there. Um, but yeah, you know, I, I don't really value Mega Satan as highly as a lot of other people, I guess. I hope that they add another... I hope that they add a, a better reason maybe to fight Mega Satan instead of just like, well, I'm kind of, you know, we can mix it up a little bit. Um, I hope they add maybe like some extra items that get unlocked for characters or something like that. That might be... I don't want to say controversial. Not everybody is into that idea, I'm sure, but still. I am into that idea. Oh, I didn't need to place that bomb. Uh, I'm going to take the black heart damage, or like the half of a black heart damage anyway. I'm fine with it. You're not dead yet? Where is this? I couldn't even see the last one. It's like they've lowered the gamma again. I'm trying to get, uh, or I'm trying to, I'm hoping to get a teleportation card or pill, but let's be honest, given the floor that we're on and the, the special rocks that we can find, we're probably looking at a card. 
Wheel of Fortune is not it. That's okay. We will go over here. These are really slowing me down, but, you know, for good reason. Luck up. Fantastic. Bob's Brain, I'll take. Does cost us some damage, but with Holy Mantle, I'd expect it to not be so bad. And we have, um... We have, uh, BFF, which I think should make Bob's Brain do more damage. Although with, you know, items like that, it's always a little bit more up in the air. I mean, it's not up in the air. It's literally written in the code, but I have no idea is what I'm trying to get at. I don't think at this point, you know, we've got a good balance of HP. We don't really need, uh, the Blood Bag or anything like that. Uh, so why bother? We don't need any of this. Is this Telepills? It's not. It's Hematomesis. Okay. Well, let's move along then. I do want the bombs to some extent. The same way, you know, if someone was like, hey, do you want, like, a Snapple right now? You'd be like, yeah, I could take a Snapple. Like, I hadn't thought of it until this moment. I've been pretty good in the Thirst Department, but if you want to give me a Snapple, I will I will consume said Snapple. Perthrow Rune. Uh, okay, well, I'm going to use it right now. And we got Pisces out of it. Was it worth it? Eh, it's not bad. Worth is kind of a, a tough sell, but... It's not like we were doing anything with it anyway, so that seems fine. Maybe could have gotten better economy on a on a boss room or something like that, or a, a, a devil room, but I'm happy with it regardless. You know, I've made my choices, and I'm going to stick with them. That's the way Dad did it, that's the way America does it, and it's worked out pretty well so far. Now, we're still bereft of this teleport card. That might do it. That is not going to do it, but it did. it tricked me for a minute. We're still trying. We could still make it if it's like two after this room, I think. We have BFF. Oh my god, we could do it. Oh, we gotta go fast. We gotta go real fast. No, fuck off. Fuck off. Gotta go real freaking fast. We did it. Holy shit. Uh, get in, get in. Do we want to fight for Capricorn? I think we do. I can't believe we made it in here. Now, don't squander it. <laughs> Easier said than done, but, um, don't, well, thank you, Blighted Ovum. That was a huge help. Don't squander it. You know, we, we have good damage, not great damage, but we have Holy Mantle. That's an incredible boon for us. And we can walk into enemies with IV Bag and just kick the shit out of them, kill them instantly, basically. And we'll get whatever the other item is here. So, I don't even think we skipped anything. We went to the item room, we went to the shop. It was just extremely close, as was that, uh, little spell of damage right there. I'm trying to stand like a little further back. I was, yeah, I was like, what enemy spawns human popcorn? Oh, that's our human popcorn. My mistake. So it's gonna be a little bit, uh, I wouldn't say a slow boss rush, but slower than uh, often. Slower than it often is. Blastasis could be a little bit of an issue if he gets too close, but he wasn't. And there we go. Who else do we have here? It's like Chubb? Oh, it's Loki. We got like, uh, because we fought, was it Champion Mom? No, it wasn't Champion Mom. I was like, why did we fight Blighted Ovum first? But maybe you always fight Blighted Ovum first. It's just the last times I've done boss rush, it's been so fast that I haven't really noticed. I'm very happy with the fact that we have not taken any damage thus far. Haven't lost Holy Mantle yet. Came pretty close. Okay, Bob's brain is back. We just want to... Get it babysat and taken care of. Damage is pretty good. There's some work to be done on it. Uh, hopefully we can pick up like another damage upgrade here. But we did get Cricket's Head and Capricorn recently. And a Tears upgrade in the form of uh, Pisces. But could use a little more. Um, I can't see. Oh, there you are. And we'll still have our, our Devil Room after this as well. Where I think like the combination of our last two rooms. This room and the Devil Room should probably signal the end of the game having any chance to beat us, if it ever had a chance to beat us, uh, because we are just going to be absolutely out of control on our damage. Thank God that didn't hit me. Uh, probably. I mean, it oh, there goes uh, Holy Mantle. It depends what the uh, the deal with the devil gives us. I don't even care. I mean, I would love to get Guppy, but uh, I'm, I'm more interested in just the possibility of us getting like a lot of uh, damage upgrades, Mark and Pact and stuff like that. Death's Touch would be great. I'm going to use a little bit of uh, Midas Touch action here to speed that wave up because I hate it. 
And that went fine. We got pin left. Pin should not be an issue at all. And uh, the husk is somewhere involved here. There we go. Then after this, I think we get to the, the final four waves. You know, we get to bloat. We get to uh, the horseman. And then we're good to go. Correct. All right. So actually, I'm going to, if possible, walk into the bloat some just to speed this up. I may do the same thing for Mask of Infamy. Like, our red hearts are looking fine as far as I'm concerned. And we'll probably get more back. You know, we have Mom's Key, so anytime we open a chest, I'm assuming that it's going to be fine. But whatever. We might as well save HP, Mom. Oh, it's important to, you know, care about your future. Thanks a lot, Mom. You want me to be a productive member of society, but all I care about is One Direction. They're never going anywhere, Mom. Just like the Backstreet Boys, NSYNC, Leaf Garrett, Davy Jones. They're gonna be around forever, man. Not like... Not like math. I'm not specifically making this a, a boy teen idol thing. It cuts both ways. I'm telling you, but now it's like we're living in this world where like sometimes kids do know better with their parents. Like the International Five is going on right now. Top team. Well, let's put it this way. Uh, like fourth place team gets like a million or two million dollars, I think, which is like four hundred thousand dollars a player, probably minus management fees and stuff like that. But probably like half of the people playing in those teams, if not more, had like parents that were like, "You got to stop playing those video games so you can be a productive member of society." And then um, they're like, "Look at me now, mom. Fuck you, mom. You're just an engineer." <laughs> I'm making a difference. I don't know, man. We live in a we live in a wild world. I don't I don't even dislike it. I just it's it's unusual. The world changes rapidly, man. Yo. Yo. Die. Thank you. We're done. Loki's horns. It's not that good, but it's acceptable. I didn't even take the polaroid. That was a little scary. I guess I had to get in there quick. Uh yeah, we'll take uh I don't actually really want to take all of this. Although Maybe I do. Because invincibility. Yeah, I think I do. Because invincibility means that I lose my IV bag strats, but every time I get hit, which is not going to be often, I'll get like seven or eight seconds of invincibility. And I can then use that invincibility to just walk into enemies for a much longer period of time than I otherwise would have been able to. So it's a bit of a toss up. But I'm not as uh, connected to my, like, weak IV bag synergy as I am to the idea of being able to kind of, like, passively get some invincibility. Can't help but feel that I did that in sort of the wrong order, though. Like, we should have more HP than this. But Gimpy's gonna be nice. Also, we are firing so quickly, man. I'm a little surprised. I guess Capricorn really put us over the edge there. And Loki's horns kind of contributes to the optical illusion. And now we have a, a small but real chance of becoming Guppy. We will have one more deal with the devil coming. Oh god, please just die before Bob's brain kills me or hurts me. Um, yeah, we got a genuine chance of becoming Guppy and our, our flies would be disgusting. I don't know, I did a, a bark imp or a dog impression there. How much is that dog in the window? Our arf, arf, arf uh, flies would do a lot of damage. The one with the waggling tail, arf arf flies would do a lot of damage. How much is that doggy in the window, arf arf flies would do a lot of damage. I sure hope that doggy's for sale. Let's move on. That was, I don't know if I'm, if that's the proudest I've ever been of wordplay, uh, or the most ashamed I've ever been of wordplay, but you know, shame and pride are very closely tied together, probably, at least for me. Alrighty. I, I mean, I realize there's a lot of consumables dropping. I'm kind of like, I don't care. Because we have enough consumables to carry us through the rest of the game for sure. I will do this floor again. That's not even like a question. It's not like, oh, no, I have to do this floor again. No, I'll, I'll be happy to do this floor again. Because we'll get another deal with the devil out of it. And another boss item and who knows, maybe like another curse room or something like that. I'm not really going to bother playing the judgment though. Because I don't care. Blood Clot is fine. And uh, Lord of the Pit is f fine. 
Sister Maggie is garbage, but we're gonna do the floor over again anyway. I realize a little scary on the HP here, so I'll tell you what. It was worth it for the ability to fly, but um, I'll tell you what, we will play this Judgment. And now if he gives me HP, I'd be down with it. That's fine by me. I still don't expect, I mean, like our HP did go way down, but uh, we didn't take any damage on this entire floor, so, you know, I'm not sweating that too much. Let's do it all over again. For now, we'll just continue onwards. To go to the right again, it was kind to me last time. Hopefully one of these... Oh, we don't have Curse of the Blind on this one, right? If I'd had Curse... Or if I'd had not Curse of the Blind, we'd be in a much better situation right now because I would have taken Lord of the Pit still, I think, but I would have three more Spirit Hearts from the Guppies... Uh, not Guppies, Sister Maggie. But hey, we do have BFF, so it's not like Sister Maggie is like literally worthless. It's just pretty bad. Still not ideal, but... Uh, this run is solid enough that we can, you know, we're insulated from idiocy like that. Is this like the same floor layout? I always forget if it does that on on rooms that are not the chest. Might as well. We were right next to it. It may or may not be. I think it says a lot that I don't even remember what the layout was like on the last floor because it was so easy. Not because I'm like an amazing player, but because of the damage that we were able to get. Uh, you know, it's really taken us over the freaking top here. To put everything in terms of Sylvester Stallone movie titles, as I am wont to do. Didn't want to leave you guys on a cliffhanger there. You know, I know that uh, sometimes when I make mistakes, our relationship can get a little bit rocky. I, there, were, there were more I was going for. It's not like I'm like, stop or my mom will shoot. No, we're gonna, we have to stop at some point. Alright. Toothpicks is good. And... That is one guppy item that I'm happy to see. So we'll take that, and uh, then we'll take Death's Touch on top of it, obviously. So now we have nine lives, so our survivability got a lot better, and our damage got disgustingly better. We're only one, uh, one deal with the devil, or one curse room away from having a pretty good chance to become guppy. It's probably not going to happen because we don't have any left unless we get a joker card, or curse rooms could just show up naturally, of course. But we don't need it, but... The stronger we get, the more attracted I get to the idea. Don't even talk about how I'm going to take bad gas instead of hematomesis. You don't know the plans that I have for this bad gas pill. It's going to be incredibly important. Um, we got to open that, obviously. Um, yeah, we got to, we got a chance. And the stronger I get, the more I want to become guppy because our flies become stronger as a result. We'll go back to that spirit heart. Very lucky to find uh, the finish here as quickly as we did. And this is going to be a fast run in spite of all the extra time we've taken. Like, we've done Boss Rush and we've done the Womb 1 twice. And yet still, um, here we are at like 30 minutes finishing the Womb 2. Very good time. Not quite record time, but very good time. We still have the chest ahead of us as well. In addition to the Cathedral, obviously. We still have the chest for some more high damage items. Whether or not we get them remains to be seen, but uh, we will find out. For now, I'm content to just destroy, like, all enemies immediately. This is working out pretty nicely for me. Not even bothering opening chests, because that's, you know, trademark Northern Lion smugness, and uh, I wouldn't want that to get erased from the video. Yeah, what do we need a 30-second key for? The only 30 seconds I care about is 30 seconds to Mars. I think we've reached the point where, like, I don't know if Loki's Horns is tied to our luck stat, but we've had, like, five or six, maybe even more luck upgrades. Uh, so, we're actually just, like, firing out of all sides of us at the same time. I can actually afford to stand, like, next to an enemy and fire away from them, and they will still die basically as fast as if I, uh, was shooting directly at them. We've got, like, a weird, like, uh like Loki's Horns Brimstone thing going on, where we just stand in the middle of the room and enemies just fade away. Cricket's Body would be so good here. Ah, uh, that is not a guppy item. Cricket's Body, Parasite, uh, Rubber Cement, like anything that makes our tears kind of like last a little longer would be uh, an investment that I would be willing to take for sure. For now, stand up here. I think we're going to get him. I think we're going to get him before he gets us. I don't even think we lost Holy Mantle there, but it's kind of hard to tell with the um, the new graphical effects that we have. I'm not sure what it's because of. Maybe Lord of the Pit? 
It's hard to see whether or not we've lost Holy Mantle, but it's also largely irrelevant. Alrighty. Now, who would have thought? 99 cents Midas Touch, and I'm ending up like barely using it at all, but... It's, uh, it's a great situation to be in. This has actually been one of the more fun runs that I've had recently. And I've had a lot of pretty, like, extremely powerful runs lately. So to say that this is amongst the best, or amongst the most fun at least, is, is actually like a pretty high order to, to bestow upon it. Like, I'm excited by the fact that uh, this is a little bit of a novel synergy. And, and we've been managing to make some stuff happen that we would have otherwise not expected. Bloody Lust is fine. Big Fan is fine. The Relic is great. And Bob's Curse is relatively meaningless. Bloody Lust is fine because I I can actually hurt myself right now to get a huge damage bonus because we have the wafer effect in the form of the of the in the form of cancer. So if I just like that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think you actually stop taking damage or stop getting a damage bonus at like six, but we did eight just to make sure. And we're still at like a relatively good amount of HP. And we got two Spirit Hearts back from Gimpy as well. So we basically traded like two Spirit Hearts away for an enormous damage bonus. So now we have Midas Touch and Turdy Touch. Might as well walk into an enemy. I, I didn't know if the enemy died because of what whatever there. Oh, that kind of sucks. I mean, I love Ludo in, in almost every situation. But uh, we had like a cool Loki's Horns thing going on that I was excited about. Whatever, though. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how that enemy died on the last room, but... One thing we know for sure is that they did die, and so will every enemy that we end up coming across, because good lord, we are become Death Destroyer of Worlds here. Really slow uh, shot speed, I gotta admit. Maybe it's just because the tier is so large, it appears to be slow moving. I don't know, that might be like a real phenomenon or something like that. And this has been really good time. This has been a fun run. Thank god we had such a good luck stat as well. Like, that has really helped us out here, but... Let's, uh, let's finish this one off. There you go, I told you, man. Bad Gas gonna finish this off. Really, really fun run. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.